The affected region actually goes from the very northeastern tip of the country right down to New Orleans, uh, where it's got down as low as, as two degrees, and that's pretty cold. And so even down there at this time of year, you've had uh, the same problems that you've had in, in other parts of the country, which is uh, trying to deal with the homeless population. I mean, that's not a lot of what a lot of people don't realise is just how uh, massive and visible the problem of uh, homeless, homelessness is here in the United States, particularly in the cities. I mean, even here in Washington, uh, you know, there are mornings when I get off the uh, the train, walk the couple of blocks to the office, and can barely cope with the cold. You know, uh, locals, of course, are a bit more hardy, but uh, you'll see uh, homeless people who are sleeping on the grates over the over the subway, which is one of the the warm places in town. But uh, at the moment, there are just none I can see uh, on the streets. Now, many of them uh, will be in the city's shelters, uh, cities like New York, and as I say, New Orleans have been opening up uh, the city's shelters. So that's, uh, that's that uh, aspect of the problem. The other aspect is, of course, uh, the massive, massive disruption. Now, the, the snowstorm itself has pretty much uh, abated, at least the worst of it has, has passed. Uh, at its peak, you had visibility on some of the major arterial roads, which was down to less than a kilometre. Uh, and you had, of course, those uh, you know, 2,000 cancellations of flights. That's not just uh, domestic flights, that's international flights. So you can imagine the kind of disruption that it's caused. Now, uh, what's happening now is that the cold weather is starting to get really, really cold. Now, it was cold enough this morning, but what this has done is brought in uh, high winds. This, this nor'easter, it's, it's a particular storm system. It doesn't hit every year, but when it does, it really comes in hard, and, and it's this particular set of circumstances that have led, you know, once again, to this massive storm system across, uh, across the United States. The winds are what really, really cause the problems now, because even though the snow might have deteriorated, you, uh, the temperatures are being forced down and down by the windy conditions, down to, in some cases, uh, t minus 29 degrees Celsius is just the normal temperature. Now, when you add wind chill to that, you're talking about you know, dangerously, dangerously low temperatures. And so what that's meant in, in the airports and on the roads is that the problem of ice uh, is, is one that, that could take them a couple of days to, to just catch up on the backlog of getting these, uh, getting these flights out. This is one of the busiest travel weeks of the year, obviously. We've just uh, had New Year's Day. Uh, and this is the kind of thing that I think you probably get used to a bit over here. Travelling at this time of year, any time from around Thanksgiving, which is the busiest travel week of the year through Christmas uh, and through this end of the, uh, the American holiday season at this time of year, you know you're kind of taking a punt. You know, you know very well that you, you might end up getting stuck in an airport. In some cases, people look like they might be getting stuck there waiting for flights for, uh, for around two days. This is, this is a particularly bad one. And it, it's not as though, of course, uh, you know, heavy snow is unknown at this time of year. And in places, especially like Boston, you know, they are well used to it. So this is incredibly severe. So what people do is they simply they hunker down and, and they ride it through. Uh, in New York and Massachusetts, you have a state of emergency, but it's a state of emergency that simply sends the message out to people, this, this is a bad one. So, uh, so don't try and do anything you would normally do. Schools are closed. Most schools are on holidays anyway. But uh, it's, it's just a case of uh, let, it, let it ride and stay warm.